Hey, 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 what's going on, everybody? Everybody there? Ah, look at that. Here we go once again. Just give me a quick second here. Did that. Did that. All right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful, wonderful Saturday night. Uh, cheers. Sociable. It is another weekend upon us. Uh, and thanks for everyone for coming out. Looks like we got a few viewers there already. So uh, um, before we do get started here tonight, guys, um, I just wanted to take a quick second um, just to uh, to recognize um, the people in uh, in Nova Scotia whose lives ended way earlier than they were supposed to last weekend. Um, as Canadians, it hit us all pretty hard. Um, but for their friends and family, uh, it hit them extra hard. And uh, just absolute horrible devastation. Um, when I did this uh, a couple of weeks ago, um, a request came in during the show from a friend of mine. And I didn't get to do it that night because uh, I just wasn't prepared to, to play it then. And uh, just with the theme of the, the show we did last time with the set list. Um, but um, I had it all prepared and ready to go for tonight. And, uh, and I thought that it would probably uh, fit the best right at the, at the start of the night tonight. So um, I'm going to dedicate this one to, the, to my good friend that requested the song, Wince Crocker. I'm not sure if you're watching Wince. Or not, but uh, thanks for sending in the request, and also to uh, to the victims and uh, and their friends and all their family, and uh, just to let uh, let all you guys know that we're all thinking about you, and uh, we're all here for you if you ever need anything. Uh, this song is called Godspeed, and it's by Ron Hines. <laughs> God speed Forgive a sweet soul our desperate deed It was a prison he was free God speed God speed God bless God bless Born out of sorrow or out of distress Speculation is anyone's guess God bless God bless But God only knows What takes a petal from the rose What makes the dark rivers overflow What makes a lifetime come and go God damn Put your hand in the hand of the man So believe he would understand God give us sweet soul our desperate deed Godspeed Godspeed But God only knows Takes a petal from the rose What makes the dark rivers overflow what makes a lifetime come and go? But God damn, God damn, you put your hand in the hand of a man. I still believe he would understand. Forgive a sweet soul or desperate deed. God speed, God speed. Godspeed, Godspeed, Godspeed.
That's it, everybody. Show's over. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. Uh, yes. Let's forge on, shall we? Ron, he always, uh, he always knew how to say it best. As Ron did. What a character. I got a, I got a Ron story. Mine's a little bit long, so I won't, uh, I won't get into that one now. Maybe I'll save it for another time, but I got a little bit of a shorter one that a friend of mine, Scott Tizard, shared with me before about being downtown on George Street, and I can't remember what club he said they were at, if it was the Fat Cat or something like that, but it was near the end of the night, and, uh, and, uh, I, got, I think there was this one young girl or something he was saying that, uh, that she, she was ready to go home, she, she had too much fun, or she had enough fun that night, and, uh, she was kind of stumbling around, and, and Ron came over to her and said, there's a 10 spot, get yourself a jiffy. So I'm not quite sure if you know what a 10 spot is or what a jiffy is, but a 10 spot, that's a $10 bill. And a jiffy, that's the taxi, uh, jiffy cabs, uh, drives around St. John's. So that's a pretty funny story. And, uh, and Ron always, uh, always keeps us laughing. So from one, from one wonderful, uh, Canadian singer or songwriter to another, let's do a little bit of hip, shall we? Century. Hope you guys like that one. Let's do another sociable, shall we? Mm -mm -mm. Some of you may notice I'm wearing a shirt here tonight. It's a uh, it's a local brewery. It's called Buffalo Nine. They were nice enough to uh, give me a shirt and some beer. 
I'm drinking some Buffalo 9, wearing my Buffalo 9 shirt, so thanks guys, cheers to you. Um, so yeah, we're, uh, we're back at it again tonight. A um, little bit of a different format tonight than what I did there a couple of weeks ago. Um, we're going to have a little intermission about halfway through, so we'll play for about an hour, take about 10 minutes, and uh, then we'll come back for probably about another hour. So, feel free to stick around all night. We're going to be here, we're going to have some fun, we're going to sing some of your favorites. Um, I was, uh, I forgot to mention it, uh, until late in the show last time when I did it. Um, but, um, uh, but yeah, if you, anyone wants to play along, feel free, grab your guitars, grab your bass, grab your, your, uh, your cajones or your John bass or whatever you got and, uh, feel free or sing along. Even if you don't play an instrument, sing along. And, uh, again, I will be referring to you folks out there as the people in TV land. So. Hello, TV land. Um, all right, so uh, we're going to move on to the next song. And this is, another, uh, this is another favorite of all the people that love to come out, hang out at the campfires and uh, all the parties and everything like that. This is a Pearl Jam song. I seem to recognize your face. And that one's called Elderly Woman Behind the Counter of a Small Town. Correct me if I got that wrong, but I think that's what it is. Great song. Oh. <coughs> I almost choked on that one there. You also might notice I'm using a bit of a different guitar here tonight. Put the Eterna back up on the wall. This is the songwriter, so I figured switch it up a little bit. It's a nice guitar as well. Does the job. Um, what else was I going to say? 
There was something else I was going to say. Oh, I, I know what I was going to say. As I mentioned off the top there, um, there were a few requests coming in. So uh, I uh, thank you for to the people that uh, did send in a few requests. Um, I might not get to all of them here tonight, but uh, but you uh, you might hear your request uh, come out here tonight. But uh, I am making note of all the requests that came in. And uh, like I said, if I don't get to them all uh, here tonight, uh, they're going on the list. And uh, if we get to do this again sometime, uh, then you might see the request come out. And uh, and yeah, just keep sending them in if you have any ideas. Um, so yeah, now we're going to play. We're going to play some Tom Petty. Any Tom Petty fans out there? Any Tom Petty? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think I heard you say you're a Tom Petty fan. You are a Tom Petty fan. Good for you. All right, here we go. some free beer so uh, I get to use uh, the Rick Mar joke again my two favorite kinds of beer free and free light Woo! all right so uh, before we play that one um, let me just make sure I'm in the right spot here yeah I am uh, before I play that I was talking about requests and what do you know there's a request one of the requests that came in uh, over the request line uh, is up right now and it's uh, for an old friend that I went to high school with, Tony. 
Tony Collins, are you out there? Not sure if you're out there or not, but uh, Tony threw in a request. I think she was yelling it out the last time when she was watching uh, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, and again, you know, didn't uh, didn't have it all ready for that. But uh, let's see if we can uh, see if we can get through it. It's a Bon Jovi song. It's called. She's there. She's there. I want a dead or alive. Singing like uh, like John Bon Jovi does with his big high voice, but uh, hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. And uh, that's uh, that part, or at least the uh, the intro and the the picking part there, uh, should be done on a twelve string guitar. I don't have one here at the moment. Um, my buddy uh, Bev, there, Trevor Barring, had one, but uh, then Mike Abbott went and bought it off him and took it back to Ontario with him. So, Mike, I'm not sure if you're out there, if you're watching. If you didn't have to buy that guitar off Bev, then I probably could have got a loan off it off him for the night to play One of Dead or Alive, but oh well. I guess maybe I gotta go get myself another 12 string. Alright, so we're moving right along. Um, this is uh, another song here. Uh, it wasn't a request, but uh, 
I think friends of mine, uh, the Dorries, Darcy and Charlene, are watching tonight. Excuse me. And um, and uh, whenever we get together with those guys and there's a fire pit or whatever like that and the guitar is on the go, uh, Darcy and Charlene are big country fans. And I don't play a whole lot of country, but I got a couple of them in there. So, uh, so I'm going to send this one out to uh, the Darcy and Charlene because it's the... Uh, the one country song that uh, that always gets played, and I mean, lots of people love it, even even people that aren't country fans. Um, it's a Garth Brooks song, so I'm not sure if everyone's ready to uh, to do some singing and get it really going here. But uh, all you crazy uh, crazy people who like to sing this song, sing it sing it to the top of your lungs for me, please. I blame it all on my roots I showed up in boots And ruined your black tie affair Last one to know Last one to show I was the last one you thought you'd see there Well I saw the surprise And the fear in his eyes When I took his glass of champagne I toasted you, said, honey, we may be through, but you'll never hear me complain. Well, I got friends in the places where the whiskey drowns and the beer chases my blues away. Guess I was wrong, I just don't belong with them. I've been there before. Everything's alright, I'll just say goodnight and I'll show myself to the door. Hey, I didn't mean to cause a big scene, just give me an hour and then. Well, I'll be as high as that ivory tower that you're living in. Well, I got friends in the places where the whiskey drowns and the beer chases my blues away. for you guys and for everyone else as well of course 
we're just moving right along here. It's about half past. And uh, how are we doing on the set list here? Ah, okay. Yeah, we got like four or five left in the uh, in the first set. So yeah, we're just cruising right along. Um, I do have my handy dandy assistants here with me again tonight, Jennifer and Penny and Phoebe, our little dogs on the couch there tonight. Uh, so if you do send in any requests, I mean, feel free. I'm not saying don't go throwing in any requests. Feel free. If I can play it, I'll play it. Um, if I can't, then I'll, like I said, I'll put it on the list and we'll, uh, we'll put it on there for, uh, for the next time. But, uh, if, uh, enough of you have hung out with me in, uh, in the garages and the backyards and the fire pits and the party rooms and all that kind of jazz, um, and you know some of the songs that I've, uh, that I have in the repertoire and you haven't heard them, uh, either last weekend or so far tonight, uh, who knows, I mean, if you request something, it might be on the list, but, uh, but yeah, send it in there and, uh. And we'll uh, we'll see what we can do. Um, like I was saying last time, and again, thanks to all you guys that uh, that tuned in last time. That was amazing. Uh, I had so much fun. I know the girls had fun here too, and uh, and I think Jack had fun. But uh, like I said, he's uh, he's more uh, interested in uh, video games and movies and everything right now. So, but uh, but we had so much fun, and it was so cool to see all the the, the amount of people that tuned in and. Stuck around and hung out for the entire show. So thank you very much for that. That was uh, that was uh, muchly, uh, uh, greatly appreciated. Much appreciated. Um, so thanks for uh, thanks for doing that. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll we'll do a little bit more. Are you guys uh, looking at uh, everything behind me here tonight? Does anyone uh, anyone want to ask about anything on the wall? I think I saw Tommy Shaw poked his uh, poked his head in there. Tom, I don't know if you can see, but right over this shoulder here. That uh, it's the picture that you gave me with all the the old Habs jerseys on it. You gave me that ages ago. But I've been using that as a as a uh, concert tick concert ticket holder and other other kinds of little funny things or whatever like that. Some hockey cards up there, some pictures and everything up there. Um, but uh, you can hardly see all the all the jerseys. I know you can, probably can't see it all in the shop there right now, but you can see all the stuff up there. But yeah, you can hardly see the picture that's up there. For for all the uh, the concert ticket stubs and everything up there like that. There's one funny Mary picture. Mary was talking about your baby room decor. I don't know if you can see this one. <laughs> What's that? Marion said what? Asked about your baby room decor. Oh, uh, those those things over there. Yeah, um, that's a funny story. Those used to be up in my room when I was really small, and uh, of course, mom held on to them, and uh, I was at a I don't know where it was, a flea market or something, and I saw it there, and I took a picture of it, and I sent it to mom and dad, and I said, look at that, never ever saw another one before, and then about five minutes later, they send a picture back of mine, and, you know, in a in a, a box or something that they had at their house, and I said, yes, bye, I said, pack it up, send it out, I'll take it, put it back up on the wall, so it's, uh, it's up there, and again, you can't really see the entire thing, and I'm not going to move everything around now, just so we don't mess anything up. But it's like a little stagecoach uh, scene. Um, this next song um, is another Tom Petty song. Wow, we got two Tom Petty songs in the first set. Can you believe it, Penny? Wow. Can you believe it? And this is actually, uh, is, this, is this still your favorite or is this your second favorite now? Because Penny has favorite songs every now and then. Favorite cabin song. This was one that, that, that we sang when we were out on vacation out by the lake there a little while, or last year. And uh, and Penny really, really enjoyed it. It's Tom Petty's Free Fallen, but uh, I don't know if it's still number one on her list or if it's uh, if it's number two. Um, the, the, the best part is, though, is that if it is number two, her number one favorite song is going to be played tonight, too. And that's not just a coincidence. There's a story behind that, and I'll tell you about it. When I get there in, uh, I don't know, in another 15, 15, 20 minutes or so. I gotta keep the whistle wet. Everybody doing okay? Everyone having fun out there in TV land? Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, so yes, as I said, Penny's favorite, second favorite, I don't know, it's free fall.
Penny, did you like that? So, first favorite or second favorite? Second. Oh, it's the second favorite song now. Okay. It's got bumped down the list, but that's okay. That's okay. That's the way she goes. Oh, it's all the ball! Have another drink on me. All right. The beer is good. The beer is good. It's definitely... Uh, Um, all right, this next song, it's another request. It's a request that came in. It was uh, it was a secret. I think it was a secret request. I'm not quite sure. It didn't come in on the uh, on the on the event page. It um, it came in via text message from uh, from a good buddy of mine, um, Devin, who lives uh, three doors down from me. And. Uh, when, uh, when Denise and Devin got married, I don't know how many years ago, four or five, six years ago, whenever that was, um, they asked if I'd be able to help out with a few things, and uh, doing some DJ stuff, helping out with the mics and the speakers, and they asked if I would, uh, if I would sing uh, and play uh, a song uh, that they chose as their, uh, their first dance as a, as, a, as a married couple. So... I was I was more than happy to oblige. I was honored that that I had the privilege and uh, to be able to do something like that for good friends of mine. Um, so uh, so Devin texted me the other day and he said, "Hey," he said, uh, "Would you be able to play our wedding song?" And I said, "Well, you know," I said, "I haven't played that song in a long time. I can't even remember the last time I listened to that song." But you know, it's all up here eventually. The the old muscle memory will get her back. Um, so I listened to it a few times, brushed up on it, and uh, and you you'll be happy to know. Denise and Devin, that I'm going to play your song right now. 
Um, it's, a, it's a song called My Angel, and it's a song uh, written by a Newfoundland group called Celtic Connection. I don't know if they're still on the go or not, or how old that song is. Denise, Devin, you'll have to tell me how old that song is. I can't quite remember off the top of my head. Um, but but I remember seeing those guys in concert before, and they were uh, they were really good. Um, so uh, so yeah, this song is uh, going out to uh, to Denise and Devin, the uh, the happy couple, <laughs> uh, on their wedding day. No, today's not their wedding day. <laughs> Uh, all right, here we go. guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed 
enjoyed that. And I hope you had a little dance uh, to that song, your wedding song. Happy anniversary. Oh, no, it's not your anniversary. I'm only kidding. All right, all right, all right. So, um, yeah, we're nearing the end of the first set. Wow, time just flies. Hey, time flies when you're having fun. That's true. And uh, there's some truth to that. And I believe it. Um, all right, so uh, this next song is, uh, is another uh, Celtic, Irish, Newfoundland song. Um, this song, uh, traditional, but uh, made famous, I guess, by, um, by the band The Irish Ascendants. Um, and uh, I don't know if anyone noticed, but I got tipped off it because uh, our good friend uh, Denise and Devender, Denise posted something the other day. Uh, Darcy Broderick from uh, The Irish Ascendants fame. Um, was doing uh, doing a Facebook Live, just like out of the blue, I guess. I don't know if he had it scheduled or, or what, but uh, but I watched some of him play the other night, and man, oh man, still has a wonderful voice after all these years. It's absolutely amazing. What a guitar player. Um, I would strive to be able to play and sound as good as uh, as that man um, any day. Um, wow, he's uh, he's a real... Uh, a real talent that uh, Darcy Broderick is. So if he, uh, I don't know, Denise, I don't know if you're watching. If he can let us know if he's gonna keep doing it or or what. But um, I'll be I'll be tuning in for sure. But uh, this one is uh, is a bit of a quick one. It's uh, it's called uh, Used to Lover. I have fallen for another. She can make her own way home. And even when she asked me now, I'd let her go alone. I used to watch her up the chapel when she went to Sunday Mass. When she'd go up to receive, I'd kneel down there and watch her pass. She had a lot of class. I used to love her, used to love her once. A long time ago, I used to love her, used to love her once. A long time ago, it's gone. All my loving is gone. Oh, oh, it's gone. All my loving is gone. Her collecting for concern on Christmas Eve. It was on a 48 hour fast, just water and black tea. I walked right up and made an ostentatious contribution. I winked at her to tell her I'd salute her in the future. She was feeling looser. I used to love her, used to love her once. A long time ago, I used to love her, used to love her once. A long time ago, it's gone. All my loving is gone, oh, oh, it's gone, all my loving is gone. So now you know the truth of it, you're no longer my obsession. All thoughts and dreams I had of her take six months in confession. See, I met this young one Sunday night and she was in the free expression. Her ambition is to rid the world of this sinful impression. And then we had a session. I used to love her, used to love her once. A long time ago, I used to love her, used to love her once. A long time ago, it's gone. All my loving is gone. Whoa, whoa, it's gone. All my loving is gone. I have fallen for another. She can make her own way home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I better used to love her, but uh. Let's say it's by the Irish Ascendants. That's that's where I that's where I heard it first, anyway. So, sociable. Any uh, any notes or uh, comments coming in, Jennifer? Um, requests. Oh, some requests. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I'll see. What, I'll digest those couple of requests that came in and see if there's uh, see if there's something that we can uh, we can put together. If not, like I said. Put it on the list for next time. Don't you worry about it. Send in a request. You'll definitely get it heard one of these days. All right. So, like I said, uh, we're going to take a little break here after this next song. So, uh, stick around. Go, uh, you know, take a pee. Uh, go refill your drink. Or, you know, go chat with your neighbor from six or seven feet away. Or do whatever you want. But uh, I'll put some music on in the background. And uh, just... Uh, just stay tuned because um, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll take a quick little break and we'll come back and we'll play the second part of the set for this evening. So this song, now this is Penny's favorite song. 
Um, and a couple of reasons why I decided to sing this song tonight. And I don't know if it was actually Penny's favorite song. Penny, when, when did this become your favorite song? What song? Uh, hello? Oh. Um, <laughs> like I don't know. Maybe just uh, like a week ago or so. Oh, Maybe yeah. a couple when of weeks Allie ago. Sang it. So yeah, it's a song. Yeah, when sang yeah it. it's a song that uh, that I used to play um, back when I was in like high school and hanging out with the boys. I think, Mike, I think we actually played this at a band's night one time. The it's Bare Naked Ladies song, um, and uh, it came in as a request too. By the way, that's right. My aunt, uh, my aunt Vicky, out there in Ontario. She uh, she sent in a request and she remembered that that I used to sing this song all the time, hang around family gatherings and whatnot, and it was a, it's a pretty fun song to sing. But uh, what really spurred me to uh, to to put this song to the set list um, was uh, Jennifer's cousin Allie uh, played it last week uh, when she was doing a little bit of a bit of a private uh, live session for friends and family that were part of this group that's on uh, on Facebook. So thank you, Ali, for reminding me. I'm not sure if you're watching tonight or uh, what you're up to. I uh, hope you're doing well. We love you. Um, but uh, yeah, so it's Bare Naked Ladies called If I Had a Million Dollars. Uh, it's a great one to sing along to. The youngsters loves it. The old people loves it. Everybody loves it. It's good for the young and old. It's good to get your toes tapping and singing along. And it's it's pretty easy to sing to, um, or the words are pretty easy to remember, kind of deal. I think so. I, I said that now. I'll probably screw them up. Um, but anyway, here is the very naked ladies. If I had a million dollars. If I had a million dollars, well, I'd buy you a house. And I would buy you a house. If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, I'd buy furniture for your house, maybe a nice Chester field or nothing. If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, I'd buy you a K car, a nice flying automobile. If I had a million dollars, I'd buy your love. If I had a million dollars, we'd build a tree fort in our yard. If I had a million dollars, you could help be that hard. If I had a million dollars, maybe we could put a little tiny fridge in there somewhere. We go up and hang out and open the fridge. Penny knows all these words, but all I say is, like, I don't care what's in the fridge as long as it's beer. If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, I'd buy you a fur coat, but not a real fur coat, that's cool. If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, well, I'd buy you an exotic pet, yup, like a llama or an emu. If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, well, I'd buy John Merrick's name. And if I had a million dollars, we'd take a limousine cause it costs more. If I had a million dollars, we wouldn't have to eat craft dinner, but we would eat craft dinner. We'd just eat more. And Penny is like me. You love ketchup. Oh, do I ever love ketchup. I don't think I'm going to have to try to find this fancy Dijon ketchup we're talking about. If I had a million 
million dollars. If I had a million dollars, I'd buy you a green dress, but not a real green dress. That's cool. If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, well, I'd buy you some art. Yep. A Picasso or a Santa Abbott If I had a million dollars If I had a million dollars I'd buy you a monkey And ain't you always wanted a monkey If I had a million dollars I'd buy your love oh, 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 oh. And if I had a if I had a million dollars, 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 I'd be rich. Something like that. Alright guys, thank you very much for hanging out for the first set. Like I said, we're going to take a little break. Look at that. Pretty much bang on. Look, seven fifty-eight. It says here nine fifty-eight out there. Ask if you need more beer delivered. What's that? No, I'm good for I'm good for beer. I got plenty of beer. I thank you. Reply anymore, so <laughs> people let me. Thank you for the offer. I still got the uh, lots in the growler that the uh, that the Buffalo Nine people provided for me. So thank you very much. So yeah, we'll take a little bit of a break. I'm going to put on a record here for you guys so you can uh, listen to some music. While the music takes a little bit of a break, and uh, yeah, we will be back shortly. Okay. Sorry if my uh, my record player uh, wasn't giving the best sound. I think I need to get a new needle on that one. A new stylus for uh, for that old Sansui. But uh, that's neither here nor there. Hang on a second. I'm just going to top up my uh, little glass of water. Drinking water, drinking beer. Pissing like a racehorse. Yeehaw! All right. Oh, and if you were wondering uh, what that record was, because it was uh, uh, a mixture of different artists, uh, it's this one here. And... Uh, my sister's watching she will recognize this record i think it was hers or it was just the family one or whatever like that but i think she listened to it quite a bit the old hit express lots of good stuff on there lots of good stuff on there rick springfield boy he's great all right so here we are we're back we're back and i was going to say uh hopefully we don't have any technical difficulties like we did last time sorry about that when um uh, near the end of the show, uh, the app just crashed or whatever like that. So, lucky enough, we were we were able to get her back up and running and everything like that. But uh, if that happens again, hopefully it doesn't, um, just hang tight and we'll get her back up and running there. we got a couple of devices available if we, uh, if we need to. Um, so, here we are. We're going to fire up the, the second set for tonight. And uh, this... Uh, there's kind of two songs in a row here that, uh, that kind of uh, from the alternative uh, grungy uh, bands. Um, my good old buddy, D's Nuts, sent in a request for, uh, for anything by, uh, by STP. Uh, so, D's Nuts, I'll play uh, some STP for you. And uh, I think I saw my good buddy Tommy Shaw popped up there a little bit earlier. So, Tom, I know you like this one. And, uh, and the next one's for, for Tom as well. Uh, so here's um, here's some Stone Temple Pilots. Sorry, I said STP, and if everyone doesn't know, STP is for Stone Temple Pilots, um, and the song is called Plush, and it's one that uh, that uh, was was quite popular for them. And I feel 
see that these are lies of calm. So won't you even care? And I feel it. First song of the second set. All right, so as I mentioned, um, uh, this next song is uh, is another from that uh, kind of genre, uh, era, um, alternative, grungy kind of stuff. This is an Alice in Chains song, um, and it's one that uh, me and PJ always played around the fire pits and stuff like that. And uh, I'm not sure if my, my good buddy Trevor Young is watching. I think Jared's in there, and I know... Uh, whenever we all get together, this one gets played, and Trevor always uh, 
always does a great job playing this one too, so. Called nutshell. Tom, a bit of AIC for you, a bit of nutshell. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, we're uh, going to switch up the uh, the genre here now a little bit and move on to a much older band, a band that's been around for fifty years. Fifty years! Can you believe it? Well, they say it's only rock and roll, but they like it. <laughs> I'm not sure if uh, I'm in a record club. As you can tell, I like to uh, dabble in vinyl records. And uh, I'm in a record club. Uh, it's called Crack. Uh, <laughs> C-R-R-A-C, I think it is. the Calgary Record Raffle Auction Community. Uh, so shout out to all the crackheads, if anyone's watching there tonight. Uh, a couple of uh, a couple of the group, uh, or a couple of people from the, from the record group are uh, on my friends list. And I sent this out. I probably should have sent it out to the whole record group, but I... I guess I didn't. Maybe next time. But anyway, um, I wanted to uh, throw this one in. And I'm not sure if Bernadette and Fred are watching, but they're in the record group. And Bernadette's like the biggest Stones fan I've ever met. Probably next to my Uncle Mike. Because uh, I know he's a Monster Stones fan as well. And I'm a, I'm a huge Stones fan, don't get me wrong. 
um, but uh, I can't uh, I can't say I'm I'm on their level because uh, their their knowledge and dedication of the stones is uh, probably uh, is, uh, at a level that I'll I'll probably never ever never ever achieve. But uh, regardless, um, I watched a guy uh, down at the Blues Can one night. Um, Paul James, his name was, and I think he's from Ontario, Canadian fellow, and uh, and he played this song, and and I uh, and I was like, wow, I said that's uh, that's awesome. I really enjoyed him playing it, and uh, and I said I got to put that one into the repertoire. Uh, real catchy tune, um, pretty pretty easy to play for anyone that wants to try to learn it, um, and uh, and sing it. Um, so let me cue it up here, just so that I don't miss any of the words, but. They're not really that difficult, um, but this is a song. It's actually from the uh, 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 Exile Main Street uh, record, um, which, uh, fun fact, was recorded in that Rolling Truck, Rolling Stones truck park right outside, um, and it resides here in Calgary. Uh, again, I uh, I'm pretty sure that's right. Um, hopefully Bernadette's not yelling at me if she's watching saying like, no, 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 but, uh, but anyway, um, songs off that record, pretty sure it was recorded in that bus and the bus is down there at the National Music Center here. In, it's a mobile studio is what it is. It's a truck. It's a big old blue truck and it's the, it's a recording studio and I think they still, uh, do some recording with it down there, um, which is, uh, super cool and we got to see it, uh, from, you know, a social distance away. So anyway, uh, without further ado, um, this song is uh, called Sweet Virginia. Hey, 
bit of stones. Always nice when you can squeeze in a stone song. Hey, some tribute to those guys. Since they've been uh, keeping us entertained, like I said, for the last 50 years. And they're still at it. Oh, I'm going to send out a little teaser here now. I was going to... Uh, I was going to post something to the uh, to the event page before the show started, um, but I changed my mind. I'm going to send out a little little teaser for all you guys out there in TV land. So when the show's over uh, and you're still hanging around, having a couple of drinks or whatever like that, um, keep an eye out for a notification from the from the event page that uh, that I'll post something, and uh, and then you guys will get to watch it. Uh, and, uh, I know for a fact, hundred percent, you're going to love it. You are going to love it. So anyway, uh, let's keep moving on here now. Um, uh, where are we? Okay. That was Sweet Virginia. So now we're up to the next song and this is another sing along favorite, uh, fire pit, 1980s, um, acoustic. Everybody loves this song. Even if you don't like CC DeVille. Everybody loves this song. It's called Every Rose Has a Thorn by Poison. We both lie silent still in the dead of the night. Although we both lie close together. We feel miles apart inside Was it something I said Something I did Did my words not come out right Though I tried not to hurt you Though I tried But I guess that's why they say Every rose has its own Just like every night Has its dawn just like every cowboy sings a sad, sad song. Every rose has its own. Go. Well, I wonder, does he know? Has he ever felt like this? Well, I know that you'd be here right now if I could let you know somehow. I guess every rose has its thorn, just like every night has its dawn, just like every Sad, sad song. Every rose has its thorn. Though it's been a while now, I can still feel so much pain. Like the knife that cuts through the wound hills, but the scar, that scar remains. Yeah. No, I could have said the love the night if I know what to say. Instead of making love, we both made a separate ways. And now I have found somebody new that I never meant that much to you. To hear that tears me up inside and to see you cuts me like a knife, I guess, in the road. As it's gone, just like every night, as it's gone, just like every cowboy sings a sad, sad song. Every rose 
has its thorn. <laughs> the poison, every rose, every rose has its thorn. God love that song. I uh, sent out a few more shout outs. Any, um, who's, uh, who's all watching there? Anybody out there on TV land tonight who wanted to say hi to? Uh, Barry and Tracy, are you guys watching up there in Airdrie? Yeah, you're watching. 20th. Good to see you. Thanks for tuning in if you are. If you're not, jag it in. <laughs> All right, so uh, now here we go. We're on to the next song. That was Good Poison. Yeah, like I said, even if you don't like C.C. DeVille, great guitar player. It's a little strange, that's all. Um, so the next song is another request. Sent in by me, Mutter. Ha! Mutter. <laughs> Mom loves Pink Floyd, right? You know, she loves Pink Floyd. Mom, did you stay up last night and watch the watch the live from Pompeii concert that they were streaming on uh, on YouTube from uh, from Pink Floyd back in the day? It was the old concert. Echoes. We watched it. Me and uh, me and Rochi, Sims, and Drukin were having a little face uh, FaceTime hangout there last night, having a few beers, chatting, and uh, we we're actually playing playing darts. Me and Rochi were. Because uh, he's got the dartboard at his house, I got the dartboard here. I guess the boys don't have dartboards, or they just couldn't get themselves off the couch to go play darts. But uh, so I throw my darts, and uh, and Rochi had the iPad there keeping the score, and then he throw his darts, and I think I won both games, Rochi. I can't remember. I know you, I know you beat the socks off me there the last time we played, um, last week weekend or whenever that was. But I think I won both games last night. Sims, do you remember? Probably not. All right, so again, without further ado, uh, some Pink Floyd. Uh, this is a wonderful song, a fantastic song. Um, it's called Wish You Were Here. Heaven from hell, blue skies from pain. Can you tell a green field from a cold steel rail? A smile from a veil, but do you think you can tell? Or did they get you to trade? Your heroes for ghosts, hot ashes for dreams, hot air for a cool breeze, cold comfort for change. Did you exchange a walk on part in the war for the lead role in the cage?
just two lost souls swimming in a fishbowl year after year running over the same old clouds can we find the same old tears wish you were here Pink Floyd, wish you were here for mom. That's for you, mom. There you go. All right, we're moving right along here. How we doing? It's about 20 to 9. That was, uh, wish you were here. What do we got left on the list? One, two, three, four, five songs left on the list. Um, but, uh, you know, I don't got anywhere to be. So if, uh, if we get through those songs and anyone wants to hear a couple extras, hey, who knows? Maybe, maybe we might. Penny might go to bed, though. She's starting to look pretty tired over there. We've already uh, already been longer than uh, than the last last show, so uh, and she managed to stay awake for that one. Um, all right, so now this next song. Uh, where did uh, where did your mother go? To the washroom. Oh, because this next song is one that uh, Jennifer requested. Uh, it's another one that uh, goes back to the back to the eighties, I guess late 80s, early 90s, or something like that, uh, by a good old band called the Black Crows. So if you did look at uh, the list or the, the few comments that came in on the group, and uh, you saw what Jennifer wrote, and now I already told you it's the Black Crows, you probably know already by now that it's She Talks to Angels, and that's another great uh, little sing-along song. Uh, that uh, that's gotten uh, lots of play over the years and uh, lots of miles on that one. Um, in uh, in the groups of people that I've always hung out with. So, here we go. We're going to do She Talks to Angels. Mentions the word addiction, insert in company. Yeah, I should tell you she's an orphan after you meet her family. Paints her eyes as black as night now. She pulls those shades down tight. Yeah, she gives a smile when the pain comes. The pain gonna make everything alright. So she talks to angels. Her name. While 
the air she talks to angels They call her out by her name She keeps a lock of hair in her pocket She wears a cross around her neck Yeah, the hair is from the little boy and the cross is someone she has not met, not yet. Says she talks to angels. They call her out by her name. Well, yeah, she talks to angels. They call her. song that's coming up um uh, a country song and uh i can't remember who it was but i did see someone and i don't know if uh if it's a friend of mine or if it's a friend of uh, the ryan family uh someone requested some kenny rogers someone said if you could play some kenny rogers and uh you know kenny uh he died there not too long ago who was it what was it your aunt karen I, I just couldn't remember who it was Okay, well, Karen, if that was you that requested the song, um, uh, or requested some Kenny Rogers, I'll play some Kenny. Um, and poor old Kenny, yeah, he died there not too long ago, and um, it's not anything to laugh about, um, but I did see something that was pretty funny and uh, lighthearted uh, that said that uh, the the know when to hold him, or the, the, the well, <laughs> Kenny Rogers bowing out uh, in the middle of this whole COVID-19 uh, thing was the biggest no when to hold them no when to fold them uh, move ever so uh, so yeah Kenny you uh, you avoided all this you provided all that great music for us uh, over the years and uh, another fun fact full of fun facts Kenny Rogers <laughs> Kenny Rogers was the first concert I ever saw uh, live that was my very first live show 
um, with, uh, with my parents and my sister at the Memorial Stadium in St. John's. Um, I won't get into the details, but it's, it's a, it, there's a funny story behind that one as well. Um, and uh, yeah, maybe uh, I've probably shared it with you uh, in the past if you uh, were there when I talked about it. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll share that one uh, another time. Um, so let's play some Kenny, shall we? And this is a great one. This is a this is like the fire pit song of all time, sing along song of all time. If you haven't guessed it yet, it's the Gambler, um, and everybody loves the Gambler. Everybody knows how to sing the Gambler, so let's sing the Gambler. Thank you, Scotty. I knew you would. <laughs> Boy, we used to have some fun singing that one, eh? At the party room or wherever, and yeah, me and Scotty would belt her out. That's where the whole honey part came from. When you're sitting at the table. <laughs> good times, good times, had by all. 
All right, moving right along here. What do we got? Uh, yeah, we got a few songs left. Um, this one here, uh, Dad always likes. To, Dad always likes this one. <laughs> Johnny Cash. I hear the train a coming. It's rolling around the bend. And I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. But I'm stuck in Folsom prison. Time keeps dragging on. When I hear that whistle blowing, on down to San Antonio. When I was just a baby, my mama told me, son, always be a good boy, don't ever play with guns. Why shot a man in Reno just to watch him die? When I hear that whistle blowing, I hang my head and cry. There's rich folks eating in a fancy dining car. They're probably drinking coffee and smoking big cigars. I know I had it coming. I know I can't be green. But those people keep moving. And that's what tortures me. From this prison, if that railroad train was mine, I bet I'd move it on a little bit farther down the line. Far from Folsom Prison, that's where I want to stay. And I let that lonesome whistle blow my blues away. See it! Woo! Song. You gotta throw in the blues like at the end. Bit of Johnny Cash, yeah, Folsom Prison Blues. For you, Vodder, I know he likes that one. Ryan always likes your hats. Always, always gets you up dancing. Who does? Ryan likes your hats. Oh, yes, I have lots of hat stuff. I, I spoke about that last time, and uh, I think that's probably why a lot of people aren't watching it. That they're like, yeah, Shag, him, he's a Habs fan. Shag, what are you at, Yeah, what are you at, Ryan? What are you at, Jess? Go Habs. Go Habs, go. I don't know if you noticed. Uh, Yuppie's hanging out up there tonight. He's in the background there, if you can see him. It's a Yuppie bobblehead. His head kind of shakes a little bit. I have a, I have a, I have a small bobblehead collection. And no, I'm not saying small and needing that like there's hundreds of them or whatever. No, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and plus uh, Yuppie is eleven. So I got a, a little uh, bobblehead collection that I like to like to look at every now and then. So uh, we're getting down to the end of the uh, of the set list here now for the second set. Um, yeah, we're almost at nine o'clock my time. So thank you to everybody that uh, that managed to hang out for the for the entire show. I really appreciate it. Um, I got two songs left. Like I said, we'll play those now. Um, and uh, and yeah, thanks again for hanging out. It was a ton of fun. Um, and uh, who knows. 
maybe we will get to do this again. Oh, I gotta remember, I gotta drop, drop D. Gotta tune. Sound good? Those two strings are supposed to sound the same. It's a drop D tuning. Makes a D sound really, really nice. Um, this is a Foo Fighters song, if you haven't guessed already, by the Drop D. I mean, there's lots of songs in Drop D, but this is a uh, Foo Fighters song that's in Drop D. I know PJ probably already guessed it, because um, he knows. Um, let me just wet my whistle and get all cleaned up here, because uh, this one's a little intense. can be, anyway. But uh, Foo Fighters, Everlong. Yeah, 
Foo Fighters, Everlong. Don't forget to tune the E string back to E. <laughs> Last song of the night coming up, folks. sounds pretty good all right so like i said guys thanks again for hanging out it was a wicked time always have a laugh and uh you know and yeah you, you got to look at the, the the silver lining i guess um doing this every couple of weeks gets me back playing all these old songs that i probably haven't played for a long time so thank you for tuning in and uh making me uh do that and uh, learn or you know jam these songs again and Get them back on the go. And don't forget, keep an eye out on the group. Once the show is over, there's going to be something posted to the group that everybody out there is going to love. All right. So, last song. Last song on the set list. Uh, and it's a it's another request. Um, and this song is uh, it's quite interesting, actually, about this song. This song is probably... Uh, I don't know, probably 15 years old or something like that. Uh, came out uh, just before uh, my first child, Jack, before he was born. And uh, and I was sitting at home one day, and I learned how to play the song. And this was right when YouTube started. Um, I, 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 I shouldn't say right when YouTube started, because I can't remember when it started. It was 2004, 2005, or something like that. But anyway, this was like 2007. So shortly after YouTube, YouTube was kind of just uh, catching some ground and whatnot. Um, and I was curious about it. And then I noticed, I said, oh, you can actually like have your own YouTube page. I remember like MySpace was on the go back then too, but I never ever had a MySpace page. But I did start up a YouTube page. And, you know, I was sitting at home and recorded a couple of songs, you know, just cover songs, just recorded them. And I said, eh, yeah, well, I'll just put them on, on the YouTube page. So the very first song I ever put up on the YouTube page was a, a song by the band Silver Sun Pickups, and it's called Lazy Eye. And uh, it's a wicked song. If you haven't heard it before, you're going to hear it now because I'm going to play it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I put that one up on YouTube almost 13 years ago, I guess. Jack's going to be 13 now in July, and it was before he was born. So, and, uh, and quite crazily, um, and I guess it was just because it was a popular song back then, and YouTube was just starting out, but it's got a ton of likes on it, or a ton of views on it, which is, uh, it's pretty, pretty funny to see, but it just shows that, uh, you know, if you put something out on social media, and people like it, then they're gonna like it, and they're gonna put their thumb up on it. Um, so, uh, so yeah, this, uh, the song, and if you haven't been on my YouTube page before, and if you haven't seen uh, the Lazy Eye uh, song there. It's got almost 30,000 views, which I thought was pretty pretty astonishing. But uh, if you haven't, uh, go in there and check it out. Because actually, it's at like 29,996 or something like that. So if a few out there can get me over that 30,000 view mark, that would be awesome. Um, um, another shout out. I wanted to make one more shout out um, to uh, to my good buddy Sean, uh, St. Louis, and his wife Katie down there in uh, California. I think I was talking about them before, but they are actually uh, quite quite busy on YouTube, much busier than I am. And uh, if you do have a chance to go, uh, and if you're into podcasts and stuff like that, they have a podcast. It's called Opinions That Don't Matter, um, and uh, yeah, you might see a, you might see another little link about that eventually too. But uh, but yeah, Sean was the one that actually helped me uh, stitch together the whole show from last time and put it on uh, YouTube because it is there. And uh, I'm gonna try to do the same with the uh, try to do the same with this one once it's all done and we wrap up the show. We'll try to pop this one up on YouTube as well. So if you if you didn't get to see it all or if there was a part of it that you really enjoyed, you want to go back and watch it again, yeah, maybe you'll be able to do that. Uh, all right, so here it is, uh, last song of the night. It's called "Lazy Eye" by Silver Sun Pickups. Come on, 30,000 views, you can do that.
I've been waiting. I've been waiting for this moment all my life. But it's not quite right. And it's surreal. It's impossible, if possible, that who's blind words to play with so unheard. I've been waiting for the silence all night long It's just a matter of time To appear sad With the same old decent lazy eye Straight through your gaze Everyone so I'm oddly rearranged Everyone so focused clearly with such shine Everyone so intimately rearranged Everyone so focused clearly with such shine Lost and loaded Still the same old these lazy eye Straight through your gaze I said I relate. I said we relate. It's so fun to relate. It's the room, the sun, and the sky The room, the sun, and the sky It's the room, the sun, and the sky The room, the sun, and the sky I've been waiting I've been waiting for this moment Yeah been Lazy Eye And by the way, I, I didn't mention it I said it was a request, but I didn't say who requested it It was my good buddy Dave Drukin out there in Ottawa So Drukin, that was for you, thanks pal Thanks for requesting that one, man all right, all right, well, I would like to say cheers to all of you. I'm trying to read the comments that are coming in right now. And um, actually, I'm going to break the rules. I'm going to play one more song. Because I did have a request that came in over text earlier tonight. It was, a, it was kind of a question, question mark text. And if anyone's ever hung out with me when I'm playing guitar, singing and carrying on, having a few drinks, you know, there's always one song that goes last at the end of the night. And you know, it's Tangly Woman. <laughs> Jared uh, texted me earlier and said, are, you gonna, are we going to get some Tangly tonight? And, and quite honestly, um, I didn't put it on the list. But, like I said, it's it's always there. It's always available. It can be played anytime. First, middle, last, whenever. Two hours after the show's over. Quite popular when that happens. So, I'll, I'll ask you to hang out for another five minutes. Make sure you...
put his things in tune here. Just give me a quick second. I don't know if it was totally in or out on the last song, but I think we managed to get through it anyway. Yeah, see, she's a little... After beating on her for, uh, for a couple hours, that Boy, I must say, I'm impressed. I'm impressed that uh, the old songwriter... The other guitar that I played there last week, or two weeks ago, that was uh, that one stayed in tune amazingly. I couldn't believe it, and that's... That's the Sears guitar, but anyway. Uh, here it is, Mike. Uh, if you're still watching, of course, buddy. This one always goes up to you, to the Tangly Woman. Well, there's a woman I love But I don't know She feels the same, yeah, yeah, but now she's gone, and I'm to blame. I'm gonna find my tangly woman once again. Saturday night, great weekend. Thanks for all of you guys for hanging out out there in TV land. <laughs>